this is a really scary time to be raising kids. Uh, in Westmoreland County, the opioid epidemic is running rampant. And I am really concerned for kids, for all of the, the children in our community. We used to talk about at-risk kids. At, at this point, I think all of our children are at risk. And I have the opportunity to talk with them about how they got started. And I don't think I've ever spoken to somebody in addiction or in recovery from opioids or heroin that didn't start with marijuana or alcohol. Some of my friends, they, they smoked pot, they knew somebody you know, that had it or sold it or whatever, so that was no problem. And the pills, actually, I thought they would be harder to get and they weren't. Um, it was just as easy to get Vicodin and Percocet than it was to get uh, alcohol and marijuana, and same thing with heroin. When we refer to primer drugs, what we're referring to is alcohol and marijuana. Uh, these were formerly referred to as gateway drugs. They're now being referred to as primer drugs because they're priming children for increased risky behavior and increased tolerance for risk. In almost every case, it's the primer drugs that begins somebody down that road. at least they just ignored that I was drinking smoking even though they found you know weed before they found empty beer bottles in my room or just anything uh, they just kind of ignored the problem they didn't think that it was a problem I, in my opinion um, just because it was weed and alcohol But after a while, I realized, okay, I can't keep spending all this money on these pills, and I went back to the heroin, and once I started doing the heroin again, I didn't stop. Well, parents need to be on top of it, and they need to be watching what's happening, and when they see these red flags, these primer drugs, as they're called, we need to identify it as exactly that, and we need to be able to be strong enough and brave enough to reach out for help not worry about what anybody's going to think of you or think of your child or think of your family. The, the stakes are way too high to be concerned with anything like that. There's a substance abuse hotline in Westmoreland County that uh, you can call and there's people on the line at all times. Um, a parent can call, somebody that's using can call, a family member, friend, anybody can call if they want any advice and it's anonymous. We need to be on top of this and we need to take action as soon as we see these red flags. <laughs>